Welcome back everyone and after a long session of off-roading we managed to relocate on the Inkuhuma Pride. They chased that herd of buffalo probably three quarters of a mile and the buffalo kept going and the lion obviously didn't manage to pull down a weak or young member of that herd and are now all rejoining with one another, regrouping and heading back south towards uh, the Vuyatila Dam. So we are going to continue to follow them. Sadly, they didn't have any luck, but they really did have an opportunity at the end there. And I'm wondering if it wasn't Junior, who's right at the back here now, whose presence did help get that buffalo herd moving as the lion would like them to. Because when he did come into the fray, that was when the herd did take off. It could have just been pure coincidence, and I'm more inclined to think that. You can see he's very full-bellied, and like I said earlier, a few of the members of the pride looked like they had a good feed last night, but it must have been something small where only the bigger pride members were able to compete and consume. They don't share out kills equally amongst the pride. You can hear him vocalizing gently. possibly wanting to reunite with another pride member we haven't seen all eight of them yet this morning but i'm told that they were all in that initial sighting with the buffalo to know if there's any way that they can communicate with one another in coordinating an attack and they certainly can Tom it'll be different to the audible communication that we could possibly hear him murmuring now it's more of a telepathic communication just like sports team members who get used to playing with one another over the years Lions will become used to hunting with other pride members and almost begin to understand one another's potential moves. And it's a silent operation when they're hunting, but they do seem to know their roles. They certainly do. He keeps looking back south. I wonder if there aren't more members, or sorry, looking back north. I wonder if there aren't more pride members back there that he's calling. There's something that certainly has got his attention. he was making and why is it that he's calling out longingly in that direction when we've seen the rest of the pride moving south away from here yeah, maybe they have split up again
hunting, or they just fight, and they, they certainly other when hunting, they will fight. So that answers your question in a very quick fashion, and we just wanted to take you across and show you he's lit up with perfect morning sunlight. He's going to let off a few more calls, so let's just keep quiet and listen. he's communicating with like I said there could be other members of his pride that have split up during that buffalo chase Line 
harmonies could be vocalizing. Coming from Puffleshook, somewhere north of Gari Cutline. <laughs> yes, I'm saying there are other lions vocalizing Ephraim in that position. If you switch off, you can listen. And it could be possibly members of the Styx Coalition, other males. And we could see some serious action unfolding here. It, it sounds like the audio that's coming towards us is coming from closer by, or is coming closer by towards us. And they could be responding to his calls. Well, this is what we've been talking about for quite some time now and there is going to be interaction and clashes between the different lion there's a lot of movement going on at the moment and this could be our first actual example of it I'm just going to have to concentrate now I need to call Ephraim and uh, here come the lion it looks like just other members of his pride alarm it's not the sticks males and it's a few lioness who probably followed the buffalo a little bit further into buffalo zook and here yeah, she's vocalizing absolutely awesome into the block from there. Mm -hmm. oh, what a magical morning it's been. And I'm so happy you've got to see and hear these lion vocalizing. give Junior a little bit of a hard time but wasn't it nice to see him waiting for the rest of the pride and calling them this is perfect golden morning sunlight uh, Ephraim I called you in earlier and you obviously didn't hear me the rest of the pride have rejoined with him now continuing south parallel to Gari Katlan. Copy, I've just started my vehicle, you should hear me. awesome and I got so excited there I thought we were going to witness some action but what we witnessed instead was some beautiful shots of those lioness walking with perfect golden sunshine on them well while we try and follow these lions through this thick bush and my signal's quite bad. You might want to send you back across to James and we'll call you once we've got into a good spot.